Is it time to buy or sell Microsoft stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Microsoft. Our initial report was published on our website on Friday, September 1, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since September 1, 2023, our system has ranked Microsoft as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 1.07. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. We'll continue monitoring this evaluation to see how it unfolds in the coming days. The stock lies in the middle of a wide and falling trend in the short term and further fall within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend suggests a potential minus 3.88% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 8.10% and 2.96%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 49.72% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between 38.81% and 71.27%. This translates to a price range of $456.20 to $562.89 after a year. Our latest daily update for Microsoft includes the headline, Evaluation of Microsoft Stock Downgraded After the Last Trading Session. The Microsoft stock price gained 0.275% on the last trading day, Friday, September 1, 2023, rising from $327.76 to $328.66. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 1.59% from a day low at $326.78 to a day high of $331.98. The price has risen in 8 of the last 10 days and is up by 3.85% over the past 2 weeks. Volume fell on the last day by minus 7 million shares and in total, 14 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $4.68 billion. You should take into consideration that falling volume on higher prices causes divergence and may be an early warning about possible changes over the next couple of days. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $366.78, and the lowest price was $213.43. Currently, the price is 10.39%, or $38.12, below the 52-week high of $366.78, which is also the all-time high for stock. Analyst Ratings on Tuesday, August 29, 2023, it was reported that UBS gave Microsoft a buy grade with a hold action. On Friday, August 25, 2023, it was reported that Oppenheimer gave Microsoft a outperform grade with a hold action. On Tuesday, July 25, 2023, it was reported that Piper Sandler gave Microsoft a overweight grade with a hold action. On Monday, July 24, 2023, it was reported that Goldman Sachs gave Microsoft a buy grade with a hold action. On Thursday, July 20, 2023, it was reported that Guggenheim gave Microsoft a sell grade with a hold action. Analysts have given Microsoft stock a general strong buy rating. They rate the PE ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for Microsoft. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Friday, August 18, 2023, and so far it has risen 3.85%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Volume fell during the last trading day despite gaining prices. This causes a divergence between volume and price and it may be an early warning. The stock should be watched closely. 
Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. The Microsoft stock holds a buy signal from the short-term moving average. At the same time, however, the long-term average holds a general sell signal. Since the long-term average is above the short-term average there is a general sell signal in the stock giving a more negative forecast for the stock. On further gains, the stock will meet resistance from the long-term moving average at $330.91. On a fall, the stock will find some support from the short-term average at $325.75. A breakup through the long-term average will give another buy signal, while a fall below the short-term average will add another sell signal and strengthen the general signal. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, by signal. Pivots, by signal 11 days ago. Bollinger, by signal 33 days ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal 8 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 29 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 25 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, by signal 5 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 8 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 147 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Microsoft Microsoft finds support from accumulated volume at $327.50 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. In general the stock tends to have very controlled movements and with good liquidity the risk is considered very low in this stock. During the last day, the stock moved $5.20 between high and low, or 1.59%. For the last week the stock has had daily average volatility of 1.49%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Microsoft, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price to earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per share earnings. This is a relatively normal P-E ratio, often seen in businesses with long track records or predictable revenues. In other news, the next earnings report for Q3 2023 is expected on October 24, 2023. Analysts' consensus estimates are at $2.65. Keep an eye on these numbers, as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Microsoft. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Microsoft is at $337.77. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Microsoft encounters its first support level at $327.50. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Microsoft from multiple analyst sources is strong buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On August 31, 2023, young Christopher David conducted an insider buy of 25,271 shares of common stock. On August 31, 2023, young Christopher David conducted an insider sell of 16,150,191 shares of common stock. On August 31, 2023, Smith Bradford L. conducted an insider buy of 40,763 shares of common stock. On August 31, 2023, Smith Bradford L. conducted an insider sell of 21,805,166 shares of common stock. On August 30, 2023, Smith Bradford L. conducted an insider sell of 1,563,466 shares of common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be positive with a ratio of 2.784. Overall, insiders purchased 301,532 shares and sold 304,586 shares in the last 100 trades.
We have a negative evaluation for this stock and no stop loss has been set. Is Microsoft stock a good buy? Microsoft holds several negative signals and we believe that it will still perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. We, therefore, hold a negative evaluation of this stock. Due to some small weaknesses in the technical picture we have downgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a hold slash accumulate to a sell candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Tuesday, September 5th, we expect Microsoft to open up $0.480 and start trading at $329.14. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.